Carlin is in the Bronx this afternoon with the story. All right. David, we're talking about a young boy who only just arrived in New York from Jamaica last August. His mother enrolled him at this school. They say, they both say, that he had been bullied from the time he walked into the building, but only he was escorted out of this building by police over an incident that he's accused of t attacking another boy. There are many questions, including, was it necessary to involve police over unruly childhood behavior? Alex Saunders may not be the only 10-year-old who never imagined getting arrested. Did you have any understanding why you were being taken to the police station? No, sir. My 10-year-old son, arrested by police, come into the school and take my child. Alex's mother says it was her son who was bullied on Friday and in the past by the unidentified student whose parents filed a complaint against Alex. A lot of time he come home, say that they beat him up, whatever, bully him, whatever. I could go file a complaint too, but they are kids. His mother went to the precinct as well. There, she says, she was separated from Alex, who was questioned by police officers. She says it took three hours. I said, what did they do to you around there? He said that they questioned him. They questioned my child and that they put an handcuff on his hand. They handcuffed him? Yes, sir. They handcuffed my 10-year-old. I was really bad. In a statement to Eyewitness News, the Department of Education said two students reportedly were fighting at the school last week. Disciplinary action is pending. The mother of one of the students went to the local precinct to press charges against the other student who reportedly was involved in the fight. The police came to the school and the mother was present when the police made the arrest. This is a police matter. They should not make the police come up in the school. They shouldn't have let the police come in the school? Yes. Now, Alex does admit to defending himself, but he says that was it. Within this past hour, I had a long conversation on the phone with a police representative who says that Alex was not actually questioned inside the precinct, that he was there only to fill out paperwork, and we're told he was handcuffed for what, we say, what they say was a few minutes inside the police precinct out of eyesight of his mother. The case is still under investigation. And we're live in Williamsbridge, the Bronx. Art McFarland, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.